<laughs> Hello, this is Suzanne Pardegme from YouTube.com. Um, I just discovered that Amy's Winehouse have died at the age of 27. She was born September the 14th. 1983, and she died, I uh, guess, to July the 23rd, 2011. Um, her songs were so in RB and jazz. Her occupation was um, songwriter and singer, and she was active from the year 2003 to 2011. Um, she died when she was 27, right? So she kind of joined a club that called Club 27. Um, or, well, I got that back word, 27 Club. The 27 Club was occasionally known as the Forever 27 Club or Club 27. It, it was the name of a group influenced rock music. He died at the age of 27. The 27 Grace brought me up in detail of history of the phenomenon. So all of these people died when they were 27, alright? I'm going to name a couple. Brian Jones, Rolling Stone uh, founder and good toy. Jimi Hendrix, he died September 18, 1970. Janice Joplin, she died October the 4th, 1970. Um, Jimmy Morris, July the 3rd, 1971. Kurt Cobain, April the 5th, 1994. Um, here's some more. Still, a ton of them died from, um, at, at the age of 27. I lost them. Uh, uh, kind of mysterious and why it happened at the age, I don't know. But there is a whole lot of And now seeing the Club 27 uh, Club or 27 Club right now. I uh, see, see it here right now. She's right in it right now. So you can go to Wikipedia and type 27 Club or Club 27. It will take you there. And I'm talking about. Five of these right here are looking at die 27. Um, 27 years and 125 days. Brian Jones died. Jimmy Hendrix he died 27 years and 295 days. A couple of days he could have been 28. Uh, Janis Joplin, uh, 27 years and 258 days. Jimmy Morris, um, 27 years and 200. And on seven days in Kurt Cobain, uh, who commits suicide by a shotgun, uh, 27 years and 44 days. So, uh, something about 27 is not exactly a good year. Uh, so, um, I'll tell you, if you get past 27, I guess you're lucky. So, um, to all of the uh, Onion Winehouse thing out there, uh, uh, it's a sad day for y'all. I'll kind of screw with her, but I don't know her, but like, I mean, one or two songs, and that pretty much it. And um, I think she had trouble with alcohol and drugs, so, you know, like I said, you gotta stay away from that stuff, it's bad for you. I mean, hey, everybody got a hard life with drinking, drinking alcohol, and Taking uh, cocaine, make you feel good a couple of hours, a couple of minutes, or whatever. Then when it wear off, you back where you at. I mean, with the whole point of taking the stuff. I mean, you know. So I mean, it's sad, you know. Billy knockout. Um, he a big fan of uh, in my house. Matter of fact, he notified me before I ever discovered it, so sorry to him also, but uh, you know, like I said, I mean, why drink something, why take something, make you feel good one second, then make you down 
after a while, you could lose your job, so how can you keep getting the stuff if you can't, if you don't got a job to get the stuff with? Oh well, um, it was a sad day in um, music history. And she now in the club 27 or 27 club. Um, this is your name, Paul, I'm from YouTube.com.